Oh, it's been a delight to come down and see it, and obviously a perfect day because it's pouring down with rain. Applemore College has got the, the 3G facility out there, provided a, a great opportunity for people to go and play, run around. We've seen football, we've seen hockey, we've seen rugby out on there, we've seen the boys, we've seen the girls, we've seen the, the march with barracks, some of the soldiers come down interacting, being part of it. It's a community, it's, you, can, you can feel it straight away, it's a, it's a community that is thriving, uh, and again, a center, central part of it, you've seen it today, where everyone's using the facility, interacting, playing sport, making decisions, smiling, even though it's raining, they're smiling. I think more and more, obviously, from my own experiences, where we've, we've run uh, football teams, uh, you know, Sunday league teams, amateur teams, unfortunately, in, a, in our country through the winter, quite a lot of the times the games are actually called off because of the pitches are waterlogged, for example. Um, you know, we see an example today with the, with the 3G facility here, which is floodlit. It can be used 24-7, you know, every day of the week, every evening. So even when we've got the dark night, it can still be utilised. And it's all about getting, you know, people in the community, young boys and girls, um, uh, over 55s, middle age, everybody being part of the community, utilising the facility, playing sport, speaking, engaging, social interaction, having fun, uh, and that's the beauty of having a facility like this. That was, that was interesting because obviously our pits then at the time uh, when we were at Scunthorpe in the winter, the pit was waterlogged so we couldn't actually get to train on it. So the chairman in his wisdom, and he was brilliant by the way, I uh, can't speak highly enough about Mr. Walton, he actually had one of these barns, silos, uh, a grain store, so we actually uh, emptied it all out and we put a, an artificial surface down so we could train in there. And it was brilliant because we, we could train every day and the lads loved it because it, although it was all small sided stuff that we went and did, we, we were innovative in what we did for the training point of view. Um, one of the interesting things was that sometimes we, Kevin Preston might have to come and have his goalkeeping gloves on and, and, and remove a few of the rats before we started training, but uh, that was probably all the fun of it as well, wasn't it? Oh, unbelievable. Uh, I think that's it, because we want, we want people to be able to participate, you know, and as I say, from a disability point of view, there's no reason why we can't get them be involved. Be involved in the community and again when we look at it, it is a, it's a superb community feel that you've got about the place and everybody everybody has an opportunity to be part of the community and the focal point is the, the facilities that is down here at uh, Applemore College. Well it is more and more so the, the football academies the education is so important and more and more that the uh, the younger players are actually training, if you like, in a full-time environment. But to actually be able to be down here and interact with the, the school children, uh, the other school children, use the facility as well and train, and importantly get their education right, uh, is, is a good thing. <music> Together as well. Well, I was very proud, privileged and fortunate to be the Southampton manager and uh, from day one the first program note I was used to sign it off together as one um, Nigel and um, you know, again we're down um, down here now which is close to, to March with the training ground uh, for Southampton and uh, I thought it was only fitting that I put that down there because and it is it's about the community and it's everybody together as one you can be successful you can be part of it <laughs>